Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about layouts in Blazor app. Layouts are basically like components which inherit layout component base and have athlete body to render other components. And that's what makes them layouts. So when you create Blazor application using Visual Studio, Visual Studio gives you a template which has main layout is the only layout and it has nav menu as part of uh, part of it nav menu is a component which has all the links and that's the reason when whenever you go to a different uh, link different route different component you still see nav menu everywhere that's because your other components are wrapped around your main layout so what are we going to do today we are going to put this login page in other component in login layout because you know, when you have login pages, you don't see other links. You do not have access to other links. Login pages stand alone. And that's what we're going to do today. All right, before I jump into the demo, uh, I would like to show you how main layout is set up. So we have this main layout here and main layout is inheriting a layout uh, component base and to tell our whole application that main layout is the only layout which will be used for our whole application what we have done we have told our router uh, that uh, you know it should be the default layout on both the cases if you find that out or if you don't find that out so that's that's going to be the default layout all right, so what are we gonna do today? We have this login page. When I try to log in, let's say I log in with Bill Gates. Uh, it goes to my uh, my index page. When I log out, I, it comes back to the login page, but we still have access to these links. So we are going to put our login component in a login layout with, where we do not see this link when we navigate to our login component. All right, so to do that, I am going to create a, a layout. For that, I'm gonna say new item. It's a razor component, and I'm gonna call it login, login layout. Sweet. To make our component a layout, I'm gonna, first thing, I'm going to inherit a layout component base, and then I'm gonna tell it to render other to uh, to render other components for that i'm going to mention at the rate body at the rate body this is where we render our login pages so um uh, i'm gonna add some break lines here so that it looks nicer and my layout is not going to have any links any other links like main layout i i this main layout has nav menu but my login layout is going to have nothing so that it stands my login pages login pages like login sign up forgot password verify code two-factor authentication anything authentication related i'm going to use this as my layout so that i don't see any other links which are relating to line of business okay so now we have the login layout how do we assign this login layout to our login page to do that um, I'm going to tell my login razor that we are not going to use main layout as our, as our layout. We're going to use login layout, <coughs> login layout as our layout. Sweet. Let's run this and see how this looks. So when I run it, you can see that now we do not have all those navigation links. Our login page is standing alone. So and if I if I log in into log in into the system, you can see that now I have access to all my pages. When I log out, you can see that I do not see those links. Sweet. Let's add sign up page now. We're going to add another authentication related page which is going to be sign up page and I'm going to call it sign up component sign up component sweet and I'm going to copy most of the code from my login page which is not a good idea we're going to fix that um, and tell this is a sign up 
sign up route it's going to use login layout because we do not want to see any of the links um, and we are also going to confirm password I'm going to confirm password because that's what we do when we try to sign up a user confirm password and here I'm going to say it's sign up sweet and then we'll tell our login page if you already are a user uh, then you can sign up you can sign up if you are already a user oh uh, and that should take you to uh, the sign up component and i'm gonna make it look a little prettier i'm gonna say column it uses three columns sweet let's run this and see how this looks So now I have login page and now I have sign up link here. So when I click on it, we do not have any of the links. It's still using the login component as login layout as a layout. So we do not see any of the other things. But there's a huge problem. We are repeating codes. We are repeating code and good developers don't repeat code. So what we do, we this bookshop image and this card and the centered part everything is repeated we i literally copied the code from login and put it in my sign up page that's never a good idea so how do we fix that that's when nested layouts come into picture what are we going to do we are going to put this center uh, and the book logo and everything in one layout which will be nested by login layout so that we do not have to repeat this piece of code every time we create a login component every time we create login pages like forgot password or verify code two-factor authentication we do not have to repeat this piece of code so how do we do that how do we make a nested nested component i'm gonna go to uh, my shared folder and here i'm gonna say we have we need to create a centered card layout centered card layout which is going to be a layout because we are inheriting layout base component base and I am going to wrap my centered layout with login layout so that we login layout is going to be outer layout and center layout is going to be the inner layout and here I am going to put the piece of code piece of HTML which is going to get repeated every time so in sign up case this is going to be different for all the other login pages so i'm going to remove the edit form and say that let's put body here so that we can put we can put a different component different html every time we create login components and i'm gonna go to my sign up class here sign up component and instead of saying it uh, it uses login layout now it uses centered card layout and instead of using the center whole thing which we are repeating i'm going to copy this edit form which is the only different part from the login component and get rid of this piece of html and same thing i'm going to do for the login component i'm going to say this is not using a uh, login layout now it uses centered card layout and edit form is the only piece of html which is going to be different for the this login component this login page so i'm going to remove the uh, this html because we have already put it in our centered card and and run our application so when i run my application nothing should change but now we are not repeating the code so when i run the application nothing has changed when i log in into login as bill gates bill gates i can log in if i log out i go back to log login page and i sign up i still have bookshop and centered all my class and cs css on my sign up page too sweet um 
so we are still repeating there there is one more thing that we can do we can see the center layout we are repeating in all our login components and our login pages if we create forgot password we'll have to put this layout again so to fix that what we can do we can create a folder for all our login components i'm going to say these are login pages these are login pages i'm going to put login component here and sign up component here and i'm going to create another component another component which is going to be imports imports and here i'm gonna i'm gonna say all the layouts for this folder will be centered card layout so uh, any component that you add in this login page folder they will use centered card layout and you do not have to mention every time when you create a different component Sweet. So if I run this, nothing is going to change. There you go. So we still have sign up page, we have login page, and if we log in into the system, we still have our main layout showing our other links. When I go to log out, we have this login page. So this is how you can use layouts to design login pages. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.